Hello, families and students and whoever else may be watching. Uh, wanted to let you know that we have really missed you this past week, uh, that we have been on e-learning. Uh, the school definitely is quiet and is not the same without you. I hope you guys have enjoyed your break and enjoy the rest of the time off. I'm anxiously awaiting to see your faces in January. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I just wanted to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We will see you in January. Merry Christmas, Warriors. We hope you enjoy this time with your family. We miss you at school and we're looking forward to seeing you on January 4th. Merry Christmas, Warriors. Hey all, Merry Christmas. I hope you have a wonderful break and Happy New Year. Hopefully 2021 will be a lot better. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. We'll see you on the 4th. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas, Turkey Run families. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and a relaxing break. Merry Christmas, TRES. Merry Christmas, boys and girls. I hope all your wishes come true. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, boys and girls. We can't wait to see you back in January. Merry Christmas, everybody, and Happy New Year. And I can't wait to see you in the new year. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I'll see you all back when we get back to school. Hey friends, we sure have missed you around here this week. It's been awfully quiet. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas break and a very Merry Christmas. Hi boys and girls, I wish you a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, I'll see you in January. Merry Christmas, Warriors. Merry Christmas, everybody. Remember, Mrs. Newland loves you and I hope you have a fun break and you're getting lots of exercise and playing with your friends and your family. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. At this time, please sit back, relax, grab a cup of joe or hot cocoa and listen to our staff reading, Twas the Night Before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care and hoped that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, I tore open the shutters and threw up a sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his cursors they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up on the housetop, the coursers they flew, with the sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down this chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkle, his dimples how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, 
Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.